Coming up, retrenched workers get help polishing up their resumes and interviewing skills. And, well, the job market these days may be a tough nut to crack, especially if you don't have the right tools. That's what inspired Michael Lum, a professional trainer, to conduct free workshops for retrenched workers on resume writing and what to do at an interview. Cheryl Fox managed to squeeze her way into today's packed session at the YMCA. The response to the workshop entitled Who Broke My Rice Bowl was overwhelming. Almost 200 people, mainly retrenched workers over the age of 40, came on a similar mission. Trying to polish up uh, the searching skills and the uh, resume writing skills and those type of things. I believe with this uh, workshop, we'll be able to even write better and more attractive a uh, um, resume for the employers to, to see. Rightly so, after all, an impressive resume is the first step and then comes a job interview. Trainer Michael Lam says that feedback shows that some retrenched workers fail to get that job because of mistakes made during the interviews. When you talk to the prospective employee, always look to them in their eyes. Because once your eyes go around darting all over the place, it shows that you are insincere. In, a, in the interview, never, never badmouth the company or your colleagues or your boss because that is what I call an interview suicide, suicide. For the older job seekers, his advice is to use their years of experience as a USP or unique selling point. The employee has to impress the employer that he has the skills. You know, he has done so much in his previous job and he could be able to contribute in the new company. Michael plans to organize such free workshops at the YMCA on a monthly basis and he's also looking for volunteers to help retrench workers polish up their resumes. More information is available at this website. Di sebelah kanan saya ialah pengarang buku Berani Gagal, Dare to Fail, uh, Failure Guru Malaysia, Billy Lim. Yeah? Okay, dan juga mendapat jolokan Failure Guru Singapura. Hello, okay. Dan juga Stressologist. Kalau siapa stress boleh berpilih ke dia. Saudara Michael Lam. Okay. Is it true? What? No, no such as failure success delay. Yeah, actually, the, the a lot of people don't understand much uh, uh, like the animals. Uh, yeah. They don't know anything about failing. You know? Okay. You look at animals when they fall down, they still walk. They, they tak tahu apa adalah kegagalan. Okay. It's, it's only human being mm -hmm. that know something as failing, you know. Okay. But when we are a baby, we also don't know, know anything about failing. Okay. So the problem is, where do human being begin to learn about failing? Okay. Kalau we analyze carefully, eh, to me lah. Mm -hmm. I think it's in the school. Lah. <laughs> because in the school, yeah, yeah, that's where they start now. You pass, you fail. You pass, you fail. 40, 45, you get 45 mark out of 100, you fail. In America, you get, they, in America, they say pass, no pass. So they don't say fail. Oh, like. oh no wonder. I think maybe we must change. Lah. But the funny thing is because uh, if a person gets uh, 44 marks, uh -huh. he fail. Okay. But because of one more mark, 45, he pass. Mm. So where is the, the line? You know? Is yeah. there actually something uh, a failure? You know? I see. Actually, to me, uh, uh, failing is part of success. Okay. That's why today I invite uh, Mr. Uh, Michael Lam, he's uh -huh. from Singapore. Yeah. He's the failure guru of Singapore, uh -huh. who wrote this book uh, that uh -huh. we published. Lah. Okay. Uh, no failure, only success delayed. Uh -huh. uh, maybe you want to ask him a few questions, uh -huh. why he thinks so. Also, uh, he's, because he's a stressologist. He's also, no, you have to write about this, oh. so that people who fail go and see him. <laughs> okay. So he can relieve their stress. Lah. Okay, tell us uh -huh. that. Uh. Well, actually, there's no failure. Oh, you look at a baby, okay. a baby in his oversized pampers, he uh -huh. walked okay. and he fell down. He, uh -huh. Get up again and he walk and he fell down. He get up again and he walk and he fell down. Mm -hmm. So there's no such thing as failure. It's only success delayed. Mm -hmm. To the baby, failing is part of the learning process. Mm -hmm. He failed, he get up again, he failed, he get up again. But as an adult, we fail once, we give up everything. We mm. fail twice, we give up everything. We fail in one relationship, we remain single for the rest of our life. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So <laughs> there is no <laughs> failure, only success delayed. Uh -huh. You see, there's a Japanese proverb uh -huh. that says, if you fall seven times, you arise eight times, uh -huh. you are a success. Mm -hmm. So the philosophy of life is you just have to get up one more time mm -hmm. and you will be a success. Yeah, but then people will say it depends on the degree of the failure, you know. If you fail to row, how, you know. 
Susah juga. Actually, ya, Encik Suami, ya. Now, this is a bit different. Uh. Dulu, in the old world, uh -huh. kalau you fail one time, it take you maybe 10, 20 years, no? Yeah. Now, because of this new economy, ya, yes. you fail and succeed very fast, no? Mm. Very fast. So, the the, the, the speed is no, it's so fast that uh, the time for you to rise up again uh, is mm. shortened. Yeah. But for you to fall again, it's also very fast. Mm. Uh, maybe like, for example, Dato Su Chi Wing. Huh. Same thing, he rise so fast and he go down now. Okay? But he will come back so fast also. Mm. Something like that. So, people, we have to let people understand that. Huh? You know, uh, we keep on going on, on. One day you will reach uh, uh, success. Very, 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 very soon reach success. Mm. Like, for example, like uh, Thomas Edison, you know. Mm. One day he was asked, uh, uh, Mr. Thomas Edison, why, uh, how, how do you feel about failing so many times? Mm. So, Thomas Edison said, you know, I have not failed. Uh -huh. I have invented the electric bulb. Right. Huh? Uh -huh. What I did is I took about 2,000 steps now okay. to reach my final success. Uh -huh. So to him, uh, it's not failure. To him, it's all success, 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 small, 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 small until the end, he reached the final result. Uh -huh. So we, we shouldn't take uh, 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 things like whatever we do as a mistake, as a failure. Uh -huh. In fact, we should be courageous enough. The person who really failed are the people who daren't do anything, they don't take any action. Yeah. Then is a real failure. Yeah, Anybody? But, uh, yeah, yes. but how, how you change the culture? Hey, Singapore, you see, like actually, you actually uh, people look at failure and success as opposite side of the coin. Yes. And this is entirely wrong. Actually, failure and success is in one straight road. Mm -hmm. You have to walk on the road of failure first mm -hmm. before you come to success. And success is at the end of the road. Mm -hmm. See, many people give up, as Thomas Edison said. Mm -hmm. When they are walking on the road of failure, they give up. Mm -hmm. When actually the next step is success. Mm -hmm. So failure and success is not the opposite side of the coin. It is a long road. Mm -hmm. You have to walk on the road of failure before you come to success. Mm -hmm. And many people give up on the point where the next step is just success. Mm -hmm. okay. And the greater the failure, the more lessons you learn. That's why you see people who has arise on failure. They become a totally brand new person, you know, because the experience and the trauma of failure make them into a hardened person. Yeah, but to come up after that, you know, how do you... Yeah, uh, you see, that's, that's why we have been giving this kind of talk, no? yeah. to make people understand uh, what failure is first. No? Mm -hmm. For example, I give a, a more easy example, it's like, we have been eating vitamin, you can Nowadays, yeah. a lot of people eat vitamin, they got vitamin, got time release, you can mm. Time release one, no? the vitamin put, you eat already, slowly mm. you will release, isn't it? Uh. So actually, uh, we cannot call this as failure. We must say that uh, failure is something like, Time really success. Okay. You see, it really, really in the end becomes successful. Ah. So it's the same thing that uh, 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 students, uh, people all over the world uh, must be able to perceive uh, that there's no actually no such thing as failure. It's just a process of our life. Mm. But if we are so scared and we are so conditioned, if we do something, we fail, we fail, we will never be able to achieve anything. Malaysia will never be able to say Malaysia boleh. Before Malaysia can be boleh, uh, there are many tak boleh, you know. Tak boleh, tak boleh, tak boleh, then jadi boleh, what? You know, it, it, it's like that, you know. So, <laughs> uh, we hope that the uh, 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 viewers will be able to understand so that uh, sometimes they experience some setback in their life, yeah. they don't take it as right. Yeah, okay, you're looking mm. at it from a philosophical point of view, mm. but at the end of the day, they will get this great saying that I pass, you uh, distinction, you create, you fail. Ah, then how? No, this is why. This, uh, this is why we are hoping that now we shall ch we hope to change the paradigm of society, you know. Yeah. Because they cannot just, uh, because a, a, a student failed in the exam, we say that you're stupid. Mm. How can you say like that, you know? Because it's not true. Just because you fail doesn't mean you're stupid. Maybe he can be very successful as a footballer. Mm. You know, you, you, can be, you can be very successful as a musician. Maybe he will fail in some other thing, but not everybody is good in everything. Mm -hmm. But people can be good in a particular specific thing. Right. So we cannot say that uh, uh, a person failed because yes, he failed in something. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays we discovered multiple intelligence, you know. Yes. In other words, uh, people have different kind of intelligence. Mm -hmm. Some are good in, like for you, are very good as a host. Some is very good at writing. Some very good at speaking. Some very good in mathematics. You know, different. So, we must appreciate everybody for their their ability to try and do what they want to be. Mm. In, Singa in ah, Singapore, in Singapore, yes. Malaysia, uh, you hit my mind. Eh? You hit my mind. much emphasis uh, on failure. Yes, you know? yes, Once yes. you fail, you are condemned for the rest of your life. <laughs> And that's why as a result, mm. people they're not innovate, people they're not create, people they're not try new mm. businesses, new innovation. Right. Now in America, they are very successful. Why? Because American accept failure as part of their culture. Mm. Look at California, they invented the computer, the windsurfing, mm. the roller plating. Because it's the culture where you, if you fail, it is perfectly okay. And failing is part of the learning process. You tell that to the venture yeah. capital people? Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I you. In fact, I presented my, my uh -huh. book to, to, uh -huh. the, to the government officials, uh -huh. you know, to ambassadors, telling them that 
failing is actually part of the learning process. Mm. You see, we learn textbooks in school, we learn English, we learn maths in school, but we do not learn failure. Yeah. And we have to learn failure the hard way. Mm. We have to learn failure out in the streets, out in the highway and mm. byways of the world. You see, in America, they give a purple heart na, mm. for courage. Mm. Right. Okay, when you fight in a wall, you, you wound you wounded yourself in the wall, you give a purple heart. Purple heart. Yeah. But when you fail, the government actually should give us a purple heart mm. for daring to fail. Mm. But, you know, for taking the initiative to venture out and, and we fail. Yeah, that's a good it's point. A process. That's a very good point. Mm. Very good point. In that's fact, uh, uh, Suami, yeah. you see, um, like the West and the East, you know, yeah. why every time uh, we are following behind the West? You, know? mm. you see, like for example, we in the East uh, invent the, the, the paper money, you know. Yeah. But the West go one step further. They, they dare to do it uh, and they invent the uh, credit card. Mm. You know, then we in the in, in the West, huh, we we invent the the kite. Uh, in the East, invent the kite. Mm. The West invent the aeroplane. Mm. Then we invent the the oyster cake. They invent the pizza hut. Mm. You know. Then we have the uh, our Dr. Mahate here, and they have George Soros. You know what I mean? Uh? Yeah. So, DJ, the thing is, we must be able to dare to. Uh, a challenge there to break through and there to fail in order to go to new limit and new area. Mm. That's why, uh, like what uh, Michael said, mm. uh, there's no lesson about failure. Okay. That's why it's very good for the viewers. If they want to know more about failure, they tune in MHI. Ah, this is the <laughs> session where we are trying to share yeah. uh, knowledge on failure. You know? become, become very important. Actually, uh, there is no such thing, actually. Failure and success is only on the opposite side. Mm. You cannot have success without failure. A lot of people yeah. don't understand this. Yeah. Okay, Let, let's talk about, let's talk yes. about corporation, about companies. You yes. advise them too, right? Yes. Okay. Now, how do you change the mindset of, uh, of the chief executives, you know, the, the decision makers in companies, you know, to agree well, on what, what, what we, we have been discussing? Yes, actually, the, the, you see, the, the corporate world, they, they are not failed. That's why we are left behind. Yeah. You look at McDonald's, look at Burger King. Yeah. See, the American did not invent the burger. The Chinese invented the burger with the mm. Chinese pao. Mm. See, the Chinese pao is the mm. originator of hamburger, but the Americans mm. dare to try the market. Yeah, okay. Now, another example <laughs> yeah. is, look at MTV, they are very successful yeah. now, but who's the original MTV? It's in India. In mm. India, you know, you have the Indian dance, you know, mm. and they shake and they dance, mm. yeah. you know. They originate it. Mm. Look at Fenton or the opera, you know, the Chinese mu uh, the, the, the musicals in London, they didn't or originate. Mm -hmm. You know, in China, you have the Chinese opera. You know, but the Americans take one step further, they dare to market, they dare to, to reinvent, they dare to try it out again. Mm. So look at Nike shoes, they are so yeah. big today. Mm. But actually Nike shoes, mm. the origin of sh basketball shoes is in China, in mm. Japan. Mm -hmm. Okay, but see, the Asian culture is too close, you know, they're not failed. Mm. That's why there are no global mm. Asian companies. How to shortcut that uh, rather than, you know, uh, we, we keep on saying this, uh, uh, the Asians would uh, invent all this and then mm. the West would, uh, okay, uh, they just uh, uh, change here a little bit, change here a little bit, and then they become better. Now, is there a shortcut to yeah, change the shortcut, whole mindset? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. shortcut is that? that the government has yeah. to accept failure, mm -hmm. you know? You see, we are branded success or failure. It's a very distinct. Mm. You see, if you pass your exam, you are fail, you are fa you are, you are, you deemed to be a success. If you fail, you know, you, you are nobody, you are outcast. Mm -hmm. so we have to change the whole society, the mindset. Yes. The failure is perfectly okay for yes. us. Okay. It is a learning process, yes. period. Yeah, same question to you. In, in other words, uh, yeah. uh, uh, we need to develop a, a culture mm -hmm. that can tolerate failing. Mm -hmm. If people fail, we cannot just condemn them or laugh at them. Uh -huh. We must be able to honor them for being able to dare to take a challenge, dare to do something new. You know, in fact, you look at it very carefully, like you, like this, uh, 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 this, yeah. uh, um, what you call boxing, you can. Yeah. Boxing is very funny, you know, you got 15 rounds, you know. Mm -hmm. You can lose first round until the 14th round. But if the 15th round you win, you are the world champion. You agree, no? Yes. So it's, this is exactly what it's all about. Right? The most important thing is the final uh, goal that a person achieves, no? Yeah. You, have, you, can be a, uh, you can be a very bad person, and then in the end, uh, you do something great for the world. Right? Everybody blame you, but in the end, you do something great for the world, you are the champion of the world. So that's why people must dare to do it so that uh, they understand that it's okay. But the worst thing is never to try anything that is the worst failure. I uh, think uh, it's a very important thing. Okay, great. This, yeah, yeah, this gentleman uh, can be contacted also. Yes. And how do they contact you? Okay, let me let me let me let yeah. you know. Uh, uh. You see, today I will uh, this 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 week I will begin five of these books uh. uh, written by Mike. Uh, five of these okay. uh, uh, no failure only success delay okay. given to the best uh, quotation uh, uh. Uh, uh, all the three. Uh, mm. and they can uh, they can SMS to there to fail uh. Uh, send to this zero one nine three five five, uh, five, five zero zero. Uh -huh. or, or they can uh, also uh, email us uh. at uh uh, dare to fail .com yeah. and get a free newsletter uh. or if they want to contact uh, uh, Michael uh. you know you can uh, 
L U M one one two eight at Starhub Net at G. So that anybody who are stressful or what who know about failure can contact okay. him directly, lah. So okay. this is the okay the way we. Try okay, good. I think uh, uh, it's also good that we we yes. we uh, announce uh, the yes. name of the winner. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I got the name. Okay. And the oh. very interesting quotation. Yes, yes, yeah, I got, I got. Very good. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, week number one, the winners uh. for day to fail box. Uh, mm. Encik Muhammad Haizal Abdul Wahab from Quarters Hospital Langkawi, Langkawi, pemenang pertama. Uh, we also have Cik Rosnani binti Muhammad Mokmin Taman Bukit Teratai Ampang. So they're winners of day to fail book for week number one. And on that week mm. we. Had the best slogan. Yeah? Yes, it was sent by Inchi Zia Zayudin at Zayudin at PC .jaring .my. Okay, this is very no, interesting. Is, uh. We don't dare to fail because we think no one fails. Mm. They don't tell when they fail. Only upon success do they hail. Uh, this Ooh. is very good. I like that. Uh, okay, this week for, even better. Okay, for week two, uh, winners. Yeah, uh, there are four winners altogether. Muhammad Amin Abdul Kadir from Kampung Rawa Pulau Pinang. We have Muhammad Hasri Hasbullah, Gombak Kuala Lumpur. Faraniza Abdul Gafa from Simpang Regam Johor, and also Carolyn J from Tabunan Sabah, Malaysia. Is it Carolyn Jackson? My friend, no, never. It was Carolyn J from Tambunan Sabah, Malaysia. And the best quotation, yeah. Muhammad Azri bin Azhar, Kelumpur Embun Emas A Jalan 15 Stroke 56, Kuala Lumpur. This is the best quotation mm. for the week. If you stop every time a dog barks, your road will never end. I don't stop. I run away. <laughs> <laughs> is it the Malay proverb? No, okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. 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 Thank you so much for okay. coming, gentlemen. Thank, thank, thank you, Michael. Thank you, thank you, thank thank you so much. Thank okay. You. Uh, stay around because uh, we're going to talk to the football ladies. Eh? Yes, yeah, sure. Or, or sure, you want sure, to meet sure. them afterwards? Yeah, both. Both. Uh, both. Okay. okay, we'll take a break. When okay. we come back, we'll continue our discussion on soccer. Hari ini uh, kita akan berbincang tentang apa? Oh, nak, nak tunjuk buku? Ini buku. Ha, ini buku ya. This buku. Ha, ini dia punya buku dia. Uh, no failure, only success. Delayed. Okay, terima kasih banyak. Kita akan Available bincang tentang. Available at all MPH store or the major bookstore. Okay. Kita akan kembali kita bincang tentang Ecuador tadi. Tadi kita akan buat Ecuador. You been to Ecuador? No, ya. Yeah. No, chill. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to this very first episode of uh, my show, Mr. 101. And with this brand new series, I'll be bringing you all around Singapore to learn how to do 101 things like uh, how to dress for that special occasion, how to make friends, cook for yourself, keep fit, things to look out for when buying a new car, even how to host your own TV program. Maybe how to be a superhero. Well, maybe not. Yes, so do sit back, relax and enjoy, but don't forget to take notes. As I'll be showing you how to do all this and much, much more with me. It's the 101, the 101 way. Many of you have been to parties, but how many times have you been left alone by a friend who walks off to talk to people that he knows, leaving you with a room full of strangers and uh, people you don't know? And for the rest of the evening, you find yourself pretending to be preoccupied with your handphone, sampling all the drinks at the counter, or simply eyeing the girl you really want to meet for the whole night, but you're unable to move a muscle. Well, I have to admit, I've been there, and these situations, they are a little tricky to overcome. Of course, you could head down to the nearest bookstore and look for self-help books. But, come on, there's no better way to make friends than to learn from me, Mr. 101. Now, what better way to meet new friends than uh, first introducing one to you? This is Michael Lum, he's a social relations consultant. 
Now, Michael, we all know some basic points about making friends, like keeping a smile, body language. There's some things in grooming that we should pay attention to as well. People form the first impression of you during the first eight seconds. So it is very important for you to dress appropriately for the right occasion, display the right body language, and look generally good overall. You have to dress appropriately for the right occasion. And dressing well increases your self-esteem, increases your self-confidence, and you are there to make a conversation. When you first step into the party, it's easy to feel intimidated by the number of new faces you'll see. But if you take your time to scan the room first before approaching anyone, you just might find someone friendly enough from the different types of body language you'll see. It is very important to display the right body posture at a social function. For example, if a guy stands like this, then people will perceive him to be very close and guests will not dare to approach him. Okay, because he's close, he's not inviting any new friends. Whereas if a person is open, open his arms, he is in the open position, he's in the receptive position, and he's inviting guests to come and talk to him. While you may want to challenge yourself to try approaching someone with a closed body language, it's easier to break the ice and approach someone who's open and friendly. Now, is it possible that some like to be left alone? No. No one likes to be alone in a social gathering or social event. Most people like to be in a group. Now, women in particular like men to approach them. Okay, so it is good for a woman not to remain in a clique, but to break up, so that you give an opportunity for men to approach you. It is very hard to break into the group, especially for a woman. So it is appropriate for a man to approach a lady when the lady get up to the ladies or to get some food. As you approach anyone, take a step forward and extend your handshake. Maintain eye contact and offer your greeting. Once you exchange greetings, keep that conversation going with some chit-chat or banter. That's a lot you can say. There are various ways you can start a conversation. Okay, for example, you can talk about the venue, the food, the drink. And to further the conversation, you can praise somebody. Okay, praise their dressing, uh, praise the way they look. But when you sense that the other party is not responding, it could be the subject of your conversation. So quickly change the subject to something else, or simply ask her about her hobbies. But Michael, there are some things that you should avoid. In a conversation, you should try not to be too loud or too aggressive or too arrogant. You know, people will be put off by you. And in a conversation, try to avoid sensitive topics like clothing, makeup, and behavior. Yeah, you could color your hair like mine. Is that a pimple? <laughs> right, there are nicer ways to turn people off or end your conversation. And speaking of that, if you need to leave, just uh, do it nicely. Shake hands, say keep in touch, nice to meet you. Keep the conversation going to an interesting level. And then you can ask for the number, okay, or ask for a name card. And the best way of asking for a name card is to give your own name card first. And then you say, this is my name card, can I have yours please? Although the points presented in making friends may seem like common knowledge, we sometimes tend to forget that the easiest way to break the ice is to smile, be polite, and be yourself.